Welcome back to the channel and today we got a good topic and we're going to be talking about setbacks uh, because getting into fitness, starting your fitness journey or even if you've been doing it for a while you're going to go through setbacks and that's just how it is. So if you know how to deal with it you can push through and get to your goals. So the first thing I want to bring up is when you go through a setback, the first thing you're going to want to just stop doing is your workouts. You're going to want to put, you know, your workouts to the side, your eating habits to the side, and that's the biggest one of the biggest mistakes that you can do because a lot of times you're actually going to feel better after your workout. I know in the beginning, like before your workout, you're going to it's going to be real hard. But what I recommend is even just sw maybe switching your workouts up for a little bit, maybe make it a little easier, just go for a walk, go for a run, you know, go to the gym, just do a basic workout, try not to really think about it, and just put in your mind and say, when this workout, or my goal of this workout is to just feel better after it's done. That's it. You know, maybe put a timer on, half hour, 45 minutes, once that timer's up, get in there, get a good workout in and move on. And what you'll realize is that it works. Like your mindset will be so much better, your mood will be better, and it gives you momentum to do the same thing for the following day. What you wanna do is start getting into the positive mindset, especially before you actually have a setback because during a setback, it's gonna be a lot more, it's gonna take a lot more effort to try to change the way you perceive what you're going through. So if you start developing the positive mindset before it happens, it's gonna be a lot easier or the, the time frame that you are actually neg negative or have the real negative feelings is gonna be shorter because there's no way of getting just rid of it altogether. You're gonna have to deal with it. So the best way to find, to try to find a way to cope with it is to work on the positive mindset. Now, there's a lot of different ways you can do it. If you like reading, you can just read positive self-help books or just positive books in general, or you can listen to audiobooks if you don't like reading. Um, there's a lot of good YouTube channels and podcasts nowadays that you can get free information and just not even just information just positive um, vibes and just all positivity so I think that will really help and you don't realize there's small little things that you go throughout the day with the people that you run into and it kind of just molds us into who we are today and if you start doing this and listening and just kind of reflecting and just critically thinking about everything and is it more positive or more negative you'd probably be surprised and say see that it is more negative but you can look at things a different way and there's also a lot of people that are very very positive and that will help you but look like i've said in this video you're going to have setbacks it's kind of just how life is but if you can start developing the positive mindset you know manage your expectations and also I mean expect you're gonna have discomfort and acknowledge that you know there's so many setbacks that you've had in your life and really you've made it out of every single one of them so it's gonna develop you make you a better person and you're always gonna come out on the other end and you know, if you keep working towards being a better person, um, you're ultimately gonna win in life. And I think that's, that's what's so great about it. So I'm glad that you uh, watched this entire video. And if you wanna help support me, please like the video and subscribe. And uh, I will see you in the next video.